up? It is Rocky Tiger coming at you with another episode on the Beyond Vanilla server. And today we are sprinting through our nether tunnel that is never to be finished. Uh, I don't know when I'll ever get around to actually completing my nether tunnel or the end tunnel. It's just kind of one of those running things that's now just, you know, should I ever actually bother fixing the darn thing or finishing it? Uh, I just don't know. Uh, but we're running instead of flying because as you can see, in my hand, I have my elytra and it is almost toast. Uh, just about dead so I'm kind of worried uh, we've got 43 durability left so we need to uh, zip on over to the gold farm and hopefully we'll be able to make it by flying up there I mean that took out just one durability so I think we'll be fine but we're getting some really weird lag spikes here some uh, latency issues maybe I'm not 100% certain uh, this is the day of my actual move so I spent a lot of time yesterday doing tons and tons of moving into my new house, still looking at different possibilities for internet options while I'm there. Uh, I was looking at some satellite internet options and whoa, that is really loud. Let's turn down the sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but I could hear it and it was not a pleasant thing just then. Anyways, uh, I'm looking at some internet options, trying to figure out what I can do to be able to keep playing Minecraft and keep on making YouTube videos, and I was looking at some satellite internet options, but they really weren't that great uh, for several reasons. One reason was the speeds just were not that fantastic, but another reason was actually the latency. So you have like, you know, 25 megabits per second internet, which is not great uh, compared to what I have right now, which is 200, uh, but it's still better than nothing and is definitely fast enough to get some minecrafting going on. However, there is the thing called latency, which is essentially how uh, fast or the time it takes for your signal. It's when you talk about ping in Minecraft, that's your, your TPS, so ticks per second is determined by your ping to the server. I, I don't know. Basically, it's how long it takes for my computer and my internet connection to send the signal off and then receive that signal back. And we're talking latency issues of like you know, 600, 700 milliseconds, which is doesn't sound like that bad in the great scheme of things. But when you're trying to do any sort of online gaming, it's absolutely terrible. Now, those sort of things work fantastically when you are playing something like a turn-based game or when you are trying to figure out why your shovel is not oh there it goes fix <laughs> it's not mending uh, but they work fantastically with turn-based games or games that don't require uh, split second reactions it, anything like you know real-time strategy games I think World of Warcraft actually surprisingly works pretty well with uh, relatively high latency connections but for something like Minecraft or something like say Counter-Strike or any sort of fast-paced uh, really you know reflex heavy type of gaming that latency would just be a major problem and it makes sense when you think about it because you're essentially you're sending a signal uh, through a satellite dish up to a satellite and then having it bounce back and so that's that's a long distance for a signal to travel the other issue is that the house that I'm moving into, as I was taking a look around at it and double checking everything, it does not actually have any cable outputs or inputs whatsoever. It's uh, owned by the place that I'm going to be working at, which I'm just going to keep my personal life a little bit more personal. Um, but it's an older house and so it has like i said i think in the last video it has a telephone jack and that's about it um and so just so i don't have to go through the headache of trying to see if i'm even allowed to get a cable output or input put into the house and having a satellite mounted onto the roof i'm looking at some wi-fi hotspots now um, looking at something maybe like a Verizon jetpack which I've heard good things about and is apparently fast enough to be able to play video games and or something like maybe a boost mobile I think they have something called like the surf something called the surf uh, the cool pad surf which is a relatively new one and uses sprints networks 
and it's supposed to be fast enough to do some gaming. Now, I won't be able to, or I probably shouldn't, do any sort of actual uploading of Minecraft videos using those particular, uh, or using the Wi-Fi hotspot, but I'm not moving too far away from my parents' property, which is where I've been staying recently when I've been between different uh, park ranger type of jobs. And so I can just do all of my video editing ahead of time, which is why it's important to get, you know, stuff done in advance. I can take my videos or shoot my videos, edit them, and get them ready to upload to YouTube. And then when it's on a weekend or a day off, I won't actually have weekends off, most likely, I can head back here over to my parents' house uh, because I like to help cook and do other stuff and I can uh, just bum off the Wi-Fi here with the 200 megabits per second connection um, and I can upload videos that way and just kind of test that out uh, because I'm really only moving about 40 minutes down the road so doing that sort of just traveling back and forth is definitely an option it's not the most ideal option in the world but it'll we'll make it work we'll make it work uh, also, I'm noticing right now that I'm not, these alarm pigmen aren't really uh, sending that much of, oh, there they go. So where's the alarm here? I mean, come on. I'm not getting any XP from that, and I need to repair all my stuff except for, of course, my bow that doesn't have Mindy. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I think the Boost Mobile one's going to be what I go for because it's, uh, it's only $50 a month for 50 gigabytes of data. And that will be enough for me to hopefully play some Minecraft and then also hopefully uh, use all of the rest of my internet needs. And the big thing is just going to be hoping that the, I mean, it's supposed to have good cell phone coverage out there for Sprint's networks, which is what Boost Mobile uses. It's also not tied in to any sort of uh, permanent plan. That's the other benefit of having a Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, whether it's Verizon or Boost Mobile or whatever, is that um, once I move, I won't be having to, you know, figure out whether or not I can get the satellite dish moved or early cancellation plans or anything like that, which is one of the reasons why Boost Mobile, I think, actually uh, has a little bit of an edge over Verizon. Also, I think it's actually cheaper than the Verizon plans as well. Uh, Verizon's network is a little bit better, but, you know, it's not the the end of the day we'll, we'll test it that's the other thing i can test it you know fifty dollars for the wi-fi hotspot itself and then fifty dollars for at least one month of data boost mobile doesn't have contracts so if it doesn't work i'm only out a hundred dollars uh, versus being stuck into a plan with a verizon jetpack wi-fi hotspot that won't really work at all so that's where we're at right now uh, in terms of uh, personal life stuff um, I'm going to try and get my hands on one of those Boost Mobile things sometime today. Today is uh, Wednesday, but I actually start working tomorrow. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, I've been pretty busy. I've been pretty, pretty busy. And it's unfortunate because I don't know if I'll be able to participate in a server event that's coming up that I was really excited about. Uh, that is the Surviving Beyond event uh, done by the founder of the server, Magic Fred, and it looked like it would be a ton of fun. I'm not exactly certain of all the rules, but it's kind of like based on the Survivor TV series, and it looked like it was going to be an awesome time and an awesome experience, and sadly, I think it's also on a Saturday, and I work uh, for, I say, I work for the government, uh, but I work in a public setting, at a recreational type of dealio and so the the days that are the busiest are usually the weekends because that's when everyone else has off so my weekends throughout most of my career have been on like a tuesday or wednesday um, as long as the days are together and right next to each other that's all i really care about but yeah I, i'm hopefully i'll be able to participate but I have this uh, sneaky feeling that that's just unfortunately not going to happen. Ah, oh, I missed. <laughs> I like trying to land on the bed while I've still got momentum and I kind of pop off 
and like I'll end up actually laying down and sleeping over here and then magically get teleported back over to the bed. Uh, it just, it's, I don't know, you know, there's the little things in Minecraft that you find enjoyable. So let's see what we can get ourselves up to today. I know I had mentioned uh, doing some of the interior decorating on here last episode, but I really just don't feel like doing that today. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to, oh, I didn't realize that was a banner carrier. I'm going to uh, try and get <laughs> something to kill him with, with fire. Let's see, I think I've got flint. I, have, I don't have any flint in here. That's no good. Okay, there's a piece of flint. There's some iron nuggets. There's a steel, or flint and steel. I don't know why it's flint and steel when it's actually made out of iron. And fire tick is off, so let's, uh, let's just light him on fire. And we'll drop. Well, actually, we'll hold on to this for right now. And there he goes. No raids here. No, thank you. We are not going to have any raids over here at Northgard. Nope, 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 nope. Let's actually just drop the flint and steel in there. Uh, what I actually want to do today. Also, this guy's been standing over here for, I don't know, a couple weeks. Uh, what I think I'm actually going to do, though, is we're going to work on something I had mentioned before, and that's going to be kind of a barge ship that's going to be docked here at the Northgard dockside area. So what we need to do first is we just need to go around here and start clearing away some of this kelp so that we can actually have some space to get to building. All right, it looks like we've gotten it mostly cleared away. We didn't need to go all the way down to the bottom, just kind of get the stuff down uh, a couple blocks further down. So I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape here to start building. And as usual, I can't think of any other, ooh, that, that arrow, <laughs> that, that's in a painful spot. Uh, we're gonna do it in the form of a third person time lapse and uh, hopefully I, I won't get stuck by any more arrows because I've been shot in the thigh and in the back.
Oh, it is uh, nighttime again here, but I'm uh, liking the way that it looks. Let's sleep real quick and then uh, hop on over there and I can show you what we did. So it's uh, not a very pretty barge, but I don't know if I've ever actually seen a pretty barge. So it's very simple and straightforward. And I'm going to drop another lantern just right here. Hopefully that'll stop mobs from spawning in here. Uh, but it's, it's very basic. We just have a long flat bottom boat with lots of chests and everything. Uh, I have a mast that I put up here because that's that's how boats would move around in medieval times. Um, it's all sail powered, but there's no sail, I, and I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm not very good at doing sails, as you can tell. That one's a bit of a janky mess, but I'm liking the way that it's turned out so far, and I think that it's, it is deeper than I need it to be. So I could actually go down a whole nother level if I wanted to and maybe add in some trapdoor type of storage. So I could do something like this where I could grab some trapdoors. That's the wrong type of trapdoors. I don't like oak trapdoors. Um, so I could grab some trapdoors and I could just kind of do a couple more just so I can get the, the overall feel. So I could easily do something like this, where it's just one, two, three, make some chests. Just have the trapdoors on Let's just put the chests down in like this. Trap door on top. So something like that, you know, they can I can have extra storage in there. I think that's what I'll do. Add a little bit more, uh, you know, just a little bit more depth and character to the build as it is. Um, just kind of random little spots here and there where I can just, you know, hide some additional storage items in there. I like having the crafting tables around. It's actually a really nice decorative block, so I think that'll stay right there. And I definitely need to add in some armor stands and figure out what I want to do with a mast. But I don't actually have time for that today, so this is probably going to be one of the shorter episodes of the Beyond Vanilla series. And it might end up being that a lot of the episodes in the future are going to be shorter just because of my internet uh, and job as well, you know, I won't be able to play Minecraft as much, which is kind of disappointing. But I'm definitely, next time, going to be trying to get some of the more decorative aspects of these most recent two builds done. Uh, so with the inn over there, past, uh, past the crane, over my shoulder, and with uh, this right here, and get some armor stands and some custom poses completed. That way it'll just kind of bring this area even more to life than it already is. I'm really liking the way that it's turning out so far, and I hope that everyone who's watching is liking the way that it's turning out so far as well. If you have any suggestions for how I could improve this or any ways, or any ways, any sources or anything I could look at on how to do a sail properly, just a single mast sail for a barge, uh, looking at it, I don't actually think that that mast is in the right spot. It's a little bit too centrally located. I think it would actually need to be back one or two blocks just so it doesn't look so symmetrical. But if you have any suggestions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment box down below. With that though, that is all the time that I have for today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be trying my darndest to make sure that I'm putting out new episodes on the Beyond Vanilla server every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I think the texture pack reviews are going to have to be over. We're just going to have to end that series and focus just on Beyond Vanilla. Uh, but again, that is all the time I've got, so I will catch you all next time. Bye!